What's up guys, it is I, once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and welcome to another part of our Let's Play series on Dark Souls 2 Skull of the First Sin and uh, we're back and we're going to be facing Sir Alon all alone man that's the lamest joke imaginable I was waiting to do that stupid joke and we just did or I just did but uh, we're going to be facing Alon over here and Alon he's meditating but we're going to interrupt him because you know it's time for him to uh, uh, die and uh, there he is sexy Alon hello Alon there you go me boy oh what the fuck we didn't even hit him what the fuck was that uh, Alon, Alon, uh, calm down, calm down. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, actually, yeah, we did. And uh, we're going to cut you down. Oh, fuck me. I thought we were do that. Okay, Alon, let's dance, baby. Alon, me boy. I love that sexy looking boy. And you miss. Oh, yeah. No, 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 me boy. Um, oh, no, 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 no. And you're going to cut down. Uh oh. Shit! Don't, don't, don't! Whoa! And you missed, dude! How could you miss? How? Oh no! Now you won't miss. I think he did. Oh no! Yep. Again he missed. Wow. Guys, I don't know if I get cocky, he's gonna cut us to pieces like this. Oh! oh wow! Oh, the corner, the corner, the corner, not the corner. Oh no! No cutscene. Uh oh! Whoa. Nice! I love when we heal and we can't dodge and fast enough. Come on. You are being a pain in the butt. And I didn't even have time to dodge that. When I describe Alon as being a fast boss, yeah, he's a pretty fast boss indeed. I best heal, but if I don't heal right now, we're gonna die. And we're going to, but thank God we dodged that shit. Yeah, we died, wow. I was trying to heal because I didn't want to waste any of our SS flask, but yeah, so Alon cuts down because I was getting too cocky. We're gonna try this again, and if we die a second time because of my stupid mistakes, I'm gonna have to summon these two over here. One is uh, a female warrior, the other one is a male mage, and uh, we're gonna need uh, plenty of help. But the problem is that uh, if we do summon both of them, or one of them, it will make the boss a bit harder. Uh, by that, uh, I mean he's going to have a longer lifespan, and uh, he's going to, uh, you know, wreck us because of his endurance being bigger so uh, let's try to uh, kill him without any help and hopefully we will kill him and I guarantee we will but the thing with Alon he's friggin fast man I'm trying not to use too many Estes flask because obviously the more we use we run out and uh, he's gonna have full health and that's very bad but let's try this again round two fight stamina stamina and dodge this shit, yeah! Oh wow, how did he dodge that? He didn't even dodge it, he just didn't hit him. Okay, bitch, come on. Do your, like, a swish swish thing, and yeah, you miss. Oh no, we miss. And, uh, oh yeah, you miss Alon. Our turn. Yeah. Oh, wow, I hate that backstep shit, I fucking hate it. Bro. Wow, bad timing, I can't tell you to do that shit for oh, You miss. Come on, come on, heal. Damn it, damn it! I fucking hate this shit, the healing. Woo! Fuck, fuck! I didn't dodge fast enough. Now the attack will be even stronger. Oh yeah. Let's dodge every single one of his blows. Damn it. We died again. Yeah, Alon, he's a pretty fast boss, so... We have no choice but to summon those two guys. You know, the fact that we heal very slow and Alon is freaking fast as hell, we can't really, you know, time our dodge uh, correctly and of course uh, we can't predict when exactly he's going to do his slash or his dash or his back step. It's really hard to tell uh, when he's going to do all his moves, his really fancy cool moves. Very deadly, I might add. But we're going to uh, summon these two. I forgot what their names are. Most of the uh, names in Dark Souls are confusing. But uh, Steel Willed uh, Lori and uh, who's this guy over here? Uh, Drifter Swordsman Idol. Okay. The boss is going to be pretty difficult right now because of his uh, longer uh, lifespan or health. But uh, let's let both of them, uh, Lori and Idol, tank him and we're going to take advantage of the situation. It's going to work to our favor, I imagine. I love how slow uh, Drifter Swordsman Idol is. Still will the Lori caught on uh, quicker and uh, Idol, I have no idea where the fuck that brother is. He should be here soon. Uh, Idol, are you there my brother? Are you there? 
Idol. Where the fuck is Idol? I have no idea. He should be here. Oh my god! Are you kidding? Wow. Idol has made it. I was gonna say Idol is lost, but no, he actually made it. It's funny how it's uh, the lady who caught on quick because she has a brain and Idol being the dude, not so much brain there. Let's fire along for the third time and uh, hopefully we'll be lucky this time. Let's collect our souls too. Okay, here we go. Good. Oh no, no, no. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Fuck. Damn it. Good, good, good. Come on. Come on, Lori and Idol. Distract this bitch. And attack! Good! Whoa, what the fuck? Don't only hit by that move. It will only strengthen the attack even more. We dodge that. Good. Guys, I just noticed Alon was staggered for some reason. But let's switch to our SS class, like so, heal, and attack Alon, this friggin' bitch. Whoa, dodge, dodge, dodge. I was going to attack us, but he did. And strike! Damn! Again? Oh my god, guys! When I mentioned how fast he was, it's no exaggeration, no! One. Two and three! Yeah! Woohoo! Shit, guys. <laughs> I love how these two are cheering. Anyways, uh, praise the sun, brothers and sister. Praise the sun. I shouldn't have used brothers. I should have just said brother and sister, but whatever, man. And uh, so long was dead. Uh, it's kind of hard to fight this guy, but uh, we beat him. He did give us a run for our money, so I praise him for that or praise the sun and uh, visions of uh, regret, visions of happiness. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, a smelter wedge. Now we can go back to our dear friend, uh, the uh, Moldrin, the assassin or assassin Moldrin, whatever the fuck his name is. And we're going to hack that little bitch down and uh, destroy the last statue and collect Ndalia's soul. I'm going to be fair. So long, he was pretty much a handful and he did give us a very good fight and I really do love how different he is from other bosses because other bosses like uh, Fume Knight Rame, I Heart uh, Rame, he is uh, more known for his uh, brute strength and power and of course the fact that he wields two swords whereas Alon is known for his speed, his insane agility and uh, the fact that he's very unpredictable with how uh, he attacks whether he's going to do a dash or a back step or that kind of shit but I really do respect him as a warrior and as a boss and we're going to uh, fight Muldoon the assassin once again but the bitch is going to run keep that in mind that he should be over here there he is hello bitch boy yeah you're gonna attack him like that we're gonna cut you down yeah fuck you bitch don't you fucking run away from us no 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 Damn it! Now the uh, stupid statue should be here somewhere. We need to destroy it if we have a chance. So take out that fucking assassin! I hate these bitches up here. I really hate them with a passion. But let's move over here and destroy that stupid statue and we're going to kill this fucking bitch assassin! Yeah! Wait there, bitch! Wait there! <laughs> no curses now, right? Wait there, Molten the Assassin! Wait, baby! You're gonna die in a few minutes if we don't die! Oh, Molten! I love you, Molten! But just wait there and we will die! Wow! I was trying to jump on that platform, attack that bitch! And we can kill Moldrin, but no, we fell to our death because of my dumbass mistake. Nice, Mr. Gamer 990. Nice. A plus, baby. It really takes a lot to piss me off like that, and I really do hate that fucking assassin. There are so many NPCs in the Soul series that piss me off, but Moldrin the assassin takes the cake as the most annoying. He really is, guys. The thing about him that he runs, heals, and acts like a fucking bitch. He's a little bitch with no life and no humanity. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Oh, I really hate the aiming in this game. I hate everything about the whole series, and I love it too. It's a love-hate thing, but let's jump over here without dying and stab this fucking bitch. Okay, where's that assassin? That bitchy assassin. He should be down here. There's that bitch. Oh, I miss you so much. No, I don't. Okay, Moldrin, you and us. Let's do this, you little cowardly bitch. Yeah, fuck you, Moldrin. And wait, 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 stamina, stamina, and yeah, screw you. Oh my god, oh, I really hate when they drop us like that, but let's cut Moldrin like so, and oh, damn it, you fucking asshole. Oh, Moldrin, I fucking hate you, you little bitch. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, screw you, Moldrin. Sucker. We got a uh, soul of Nadalia, Bride of Ash, and we should get uh, the uh, full soul of Nadalia. 
uh, and a human effigy too. Medallia's no more, true soul of N Medallia acquired, nice. We got uh, Nadalia's soul and uh, thus we complete the uh, Crown of the Iron King DLC. But there's one last item I want to pick up from this place before we end the episode. And in the next one we're going to fight King Vendrick. And that's going to be really awesome considering we got all of the crowns of the Ivory, Sunken and Iron King. And Alon's going to have a lot to share on the lore behind uh, Dark Souls 2 and how it connects to Dark Souls 1 which is very interesting guys, I guarantee you. The item over here inside this chest actually belongs to a legend in uh, the Soul series specifically Dark Souls from uh, Artorius of the Abyss and you guys know what I'm talking about this is the majestic great sword of Artorius the Abyss Walker before he would become Artorius of the Abyss after he succumbed to uh, the dark or rather the Abyss the Abyss was caused by this demon uh, this primeval man known as Manus father of the Abyss Manus actually has uh, four daughters they are Nishandra, Alana, Nadalia and Alsana they are the daughters of Dark. All four of them are connected in how they represent uh, different parts of Manus, while all of them being a uh, part of the Dark, and how uh, they are here to uh, bring the Dark to fruition. It's a very interesting story on uh, the uh, daughters of the Dark and how they are connected to Manus. And I really do love the lore behind Dark Souls 2 and the way it connects to the first game. Not so much like it's uh, perfect because there are definitely some plot holes in how these two games connect. A lot of those plot holes are made up for in Dark Souls 3, which I really think is overrated to be honest. But I do love uh, the, uh, the lore in general. The lore of the Souls series is really fascinating and I love how it makes sense when you get the hang of it and how you connect all the pieces together. It's one of those stories and games I really do love and um, just like Metal Gear Solid, it's a story which I believe personally to be timeless. Besides the lore to Dark Souls and how it all connects, we're going to end the episode right here. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to the next one when we're going to fight uh, King Vendrick and we're going to hear more about the lore to Dark Souls 2. It's going to be very fascinating, I promise you that. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe if you wish and until next time, peace out. Take care. Adios, amigos. Au revoir and sayonara.